folks, I'm UltraZone, this is the Ultra Z News Weekend Update, the only toy news not for views, but for all of yous. That's right, my zillions, your boy UltraZilla is a here, post Kaiju Brooklyn. I am exhausted, and I wasn't going to do the Ultra Z News, if you've been following the channel the last few days, I mentioned that I wasn't going to be doing the Ultra Z News this week on Sunday, but I decided to keep it in its spot. I'm really, really tired, and I have yet to collect my thoughts completely on Kaiju Brooklyn. I have a video ready to go, which is kind of a walkthrough. That's the next video you'll see. Um, but then, you know, we'll do a vlogzilla, and I'm going to also do a video on uh, some of the highlights of the couple panels I was on. So expect those videos in the next couple of days, a uh, few days, but like, man... Uh, I, I just felt like, let's keep the news here because it is one video I don't really need to think about. I can just do. <laughs> so without any further ado, let's get to the news. And let's kick things off uh, with uh, something we knew was coming. It is the Bandai Movie Monster Series, Shimo, and also Scar King. I, as a set, I believe... Um, that is also coming out through P Bandai. Now, they could be separate. I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, long week. Didn't get all the particulars of it, except that it is P Bandai, which is a bit of a bummer. Now, considering it is MonsterVerse stuff, let's not fret too much yet, because I feel like either the US P Bandai site will get it, or possibly, uh, the Godzilla US store in limited quantities might receive this as well so um let's let's hold out hope on that and see what happens but they do look pretty decent i have to say eh, shimo is kind of playmates ish uh but uh, scar king is definitely a step up from the playmates so you know fingers crossed that these will be uh, more accessible than uh, just a japanese p bandai site gx 111 soul of chogokin has uh, been revealed as the Great Mazinger. It is now official. It looks pretty good. This is an all-new sculpt, just like the GX-105 Mazinger Z was. Uh, so you'll, uh, you know, you, when you do one, you gotta do the other. So this is looking pretty good, and pre-orders open shortly on June 3rd. Which, by the way, is tonight, <laughs> overnight. So any of the Bandai June 3rd releases, pre-orders, go up tonight. There's a lot uh, to... Pre-order, so hope everybody's staying up tonight. And speaking of Solo Chogo Ken, the uh, recently announced and the one I went crazy over last week, the Tryon 3 Gundam uh, was on display at the uh, Tamashi store in Japan and it looks absolutely gorgeous. And uh, the uh, Bandai Movie Monsters series, back to Bandai Movie Monster series, uh, Godzilla Minus One Heat Ray Edition is available to purchase on, well, pre-order on the Godzilla US store. So that's what I'm talking about, guys. They might get, uh, the Shimon Scar King. Fingers crossed. Super 7 had a couple of variants of interest uh, this week dropping, uh, with the Mecha Godzilla Shogun figure. 20 inches tall figure with the firing missiles. This one, though, is in metallic colors, and it looks amazing. It looks so, so good. I really, really want this. Uh, I really want to review it. I really want it in my collection. Super 7! Why have you forsaken me? Come back to UltraZilla. I really want this. <laughs> also from Super 7, uh, the uh, Reaction Figures X. Uh, Stern Pinball Mecha Godzilla and Godzilla coming out. This is pretty cool based on uh, the way they look on the game, you know, the little game figures. That's pretty neat. So some cool little reaction variants for y'all. X Plus is doing a awakening a version. Uh, Godzilla Eva 01. Really, really nice looking variant here. So if you're interested in this, do look out for pre-orders. Speaking of variants, a Lucky Cat is doing a Micro Cosmos Voltron in dark colors. This one looks really, really nice. I don't think I'm going back to it. I didn't, you know, I didn't love the first one, but uh, it does look really nice in these colors. NECA is doing a Predator Throne. How cool is that? 
Uh, it is available on the NECA store, so do jump on this if you're interested. They are also uh, doing a, a Vincent Price figure. This will go fan fantastic with your Christopher uh, Lee Dracula figure that they have coming out. Both of them look absolutely spectacular. Funko revealed two more Jumbo Chan figures with a Speed Eraser and Ken the Eagle. So continuing their uh, classic anime look. I, I really like these. They look very sweet. James Groman and Japanese company Acro have gotten together to produce a, a giant Gilman uh, like kaiju creature. It looks spectacular. I mean, would there be any doubt a James Groman like Gilman would be spectacular? Come on now. Flame Toys has revealed their Kurokara Kari High End Starscream, which looks spectacular. And there's also a, a bonus of parts to make a Coronation Starscream if a, you uh, pre order it through uh, their designated outlets. Yolo Park is going to have a BotCon exclusive two-pack of uh, their AMK uh, Mini Delta Magnus and Sunstorm. This is pretty cool variants. If you're going to BotCon, I uh, want you to pick this up. In a bit of interesting news, Takara Tomi canceled uh, their Takara Tomi Mall exclusive Prowl, which was going to have a very nice deco compared to the US release. What's interesting about this is if you remember a few years back, you know, Hasbro and Takara decided to stop doing that and, uh, you know, have more synergy between the lines so folks would not skip out on the Hasbros to just get the Takara versions. Um, so I wonder if there's a little bit of that in play where Takara was like, yeah, we want to make this. And then Hasbro was like, well, wh wh why are you doing that? That goes against everything we said we weren't going to do. So I don't know what the real story is there, but I feel like it's something along those lines. And from their Tomica uh, line, we're getting a Galaxy Express 999. And uh, I am very excited about this. This is a classic anime, a classic a train that, that flies in space. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm on board with this because it's going to be real cheap. And uh, you can get it at HLJ right now. A link is down below. Well, pre-order it right now. Kyoto is doing a couple of diorama pieces for Kaiju number eight, with Kaiju number eight versus uh, Kaiju number nine, as well as Mina and her lion, or white tiger, uh, Baku. So, very nice pieces, and these are also up for pre order at HLJ. And last but not least, on a BBTS listing of new Playmates Godzilla X Kong toys, oh, we do see some pretty pricey. Uh, Godzilla and Kong Titan size figures. Uh, they're selling them for 90 bucks. Pre orders for 90 bucks. So I'm not sure if they're going to be that much, but these do sound like uh, the biggest uh, figures that they've done so far and the most high priced figures they've done. So I'm going to be real curious to see more on these two uh, when the time comes. But that time is not now, so uh, that is the news, and I hope you uh, dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below on any of these items, and if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and sub yourself for daily content, and let me help you diversify your collection. Till next time, peace out, peeps.